Hi there, this is Olivia. Ooh, it's been a while. Um, I wasn't planning to make any new videos because I'm no longer in business. But recently I got contacted by this new manufacturer um, proposing a partnership. And usually it's super easy to ignore these types of emails because it's like factories that I stopped working with ages ago because they were kind of dodgy and they're offering me the amazing opportunity to pay them for their services. But this time it was different. It was a nice looking factory. Uh, I did a little digging uh, and found that they were legit and they also had a legit proposal so I was intrigued. And this factory is Renee Bassett's or actually Renee Bassett is like the brand name of their blank service, the parent factory and all the factories that they uh, partner with in that region have been around for a really long time. Luxury streetwear is still going strong and they thought this could be a really great way to cater to small brands um, or maybe not just small but people who are just starting out or like they even sell ready to wear uh, for people who are still toying with the idea of oh here's Jack again hello <laughs> um, where was I so yeah they have ready to wear for people who are still thinking whether they want to start a label or maybe start selling their own merch and they also thought that this way they could offer the same high-end products that normally would require if you were to work with the same factories here in Portugal that uh, produce for like Balenciaga or Acne you would have to or have a minimum order quantity of 150 to 300 pieces and the process is a lot more complex and more time consuming but instead at Rene Bassett they're working with low minimums and focusing on customization options like printing, embroidery, uh, they have many different types of printing techniques that you can check on their Instagram as well um, and also custom colors and even like some special washes like stone wash, fade out wash, acid wash and uh, all the details are on their website which I personally found super clear it's like manufacturers websites when they do have one tend to be either kind of cluttered or maybe it's really hard to find the information that you need or maybe they don't even have any information at all and uh, it's like yeah it's understandable uh, manufacturers are like not uh, direct to final consumer sort of thing so um, it's understandable that their website is kind of mysterious for a beginner so I really appreciate all the work that uh, went into Renee Bassett's website and I think that it would be quite easy to navigate if I were a beginner in this space. And uh, I also had a chat with the owner because you know, if it's me, I like to research everything before I make new content because I hate thinking that I might be spreading misinformation. Uh, <laughs> if only I had the same sort of approach when I was still in business but you know hindsight is a bit we live and learn um, but yeah the owner seems really aware of what it's like to work with small brands with like beginners and the challenges that we face so I decided it was worth having a look at the pieces and our deal was if they were indeed good I'd be happy to keep them in exchange for spreading the word with this video. So here it is, my first sponsored review. Starting with their white t-shirts. This is size S and um, it's indeed oversized. Actually, uh, I probably could have gone with the XS but because um, the neckline is a little bit wobbly there's a little bit of a gap um, I think you can see a little bit better in this video so for me I would have done it a little bit tighter 
um, maybe needs like a little adjustment, just a little pinch. No, actually made a mistake. Doesn't need like that much. It's like just a tiny bit. But yeah, considering like this rib is really, really thick. Um, this is the first time I see a t-shirt with a rib this thick and it's really well finished. You can see here and um, the, the rest of the t-shirts, the fabric is quite thick. You could see like it's not see-through and inside is also very clean. I found it very well finished. You can see the care label. Uh, it has a, a little size label, a woven size label. It's really nice. And uh, again, a little bit more on the neck trim. See here, all the special machines that they use. Only the back neck estates. I think this is what they do with heavyweight jerseys. They're all really good quality. You can see like the amount of special finishes that go into it. Sometimes I get people asking me like, how can I make my own t-shirts? And it's kind of like, just don't. Just find a nice blank and buy them ready-made because there's so many special machinery that go into making something as simple as a t-shirt. And now the hoodie. I got the vintage wash size M and I'm quite happy with size M. This is also supposed to be oversized but I would not have gotten the S. A hoodie could be a little bit like closer to the neck or maybe a little bit more of an overlap. Um, this is just me overthinking, sorry. Uh, the hoodies are still pretty good. It fits my whole head and my ponytail. It's one of my number one pet peeves, having a hoodie that doesn't fit. And this one is just right. The sleeves are just long enough because I'm short. But if I stretch my arms, you can see my fingers. And if I get the ribs back on my wrists, it fits just right with this nice little drape. And uh, here's a little bit more of the product. And overall, really well finished. I, I kind of like the color inside a little bit more because it's a little bit darker. But again, it's just my personal preference. And um, oh, the cuffs are really cool. <laughs> I like like this ombre effect inside. Like here a little bit more of the fabric and the hem. So here's the, the rib. And the stitching inside really clean. Outside also really nice. It's a tween needle on the neckline and single needle finish on the shoulders. I always appreciate a kangaroo pockets. And like both these pieces, but especially the hoodie, you can see that it's like, it's quite soft and it's quite drapey. Um, so very different from like open and cotton that I reviewed in my other video. So um, yeah, I know that a lot of designer brands like to use open and cotton. So I did my homework and I went to a fancy designer store to see if, um, if this actually compares to designer streetwear. So I tried on some hoodies and t-shirts by Balenciaga. I checked out some other pieces by Amiri and McQueen. And yeah, the quality was at the same level as these brands. And uh, actually, like, I felt super cringe doing this, but this is a very common thing that I should have been doing a lot more of back in fashion school. So, you know, this is a tip for you. Just go, if you say that you want something similar to XYZ brand you should go to the shop and see like what sort of materials they're using the proportions and also like the the customization techniques So wrapping up this video if you're into streetwear I definitely recommend checking out Renee Bassett if you already have a registered business you can create an account to access their wholesale area where you can see all their customization options and buy these blanks at a lower price. My recommendation is to 
start with just one piece, just a blank one as like a fitting sample. You can do a fitting, you can try out how you're gonna place your, like your logo or your artwork. And then once you're ready, once you have your design ready and you're also ready to place a bulk order, you can use my favorite tricks to send them a really good tech pack along with the sample to make sure you get exactly like you want. I'll leave a link to my tech pack template in the description. And yes, the, the owner, he actually found me via my tech pack video and he approves of it, so you're good to go. Or maybe you just want like a good hoodie for less than 965 euros, uh, you can check out their ready to wear page. They have agreed to give us a 15% discount code. Also, uh, I'll probably add it in the video and add to the description and terms and conditions apply just make sure that the code is still valid i don't know when you're going to be watching this. and hope you like this video if you've ordered with renee bassett before please leave a comment with your experience and see you next time bye